So just the cardiovascular system as a whole, it includes the heart and the vascular vasculature, which is like all the blood vessels in your body, and then the blood in the blood vessels as well. Um, so what does the cardiovascular system do? It mainly transports gas, nutrients, and waste throughout your body. It um, acts as like a transport system for everything in your body from, um, from the heart to the muscle and the tissue throughout your body and then back to the heart again. The cardiovascular system also helps to maintain your body temperature. It um, helps with thermoregulation. And then also it acts as an immune defense against like bacteria, viruses, anything that wants to invade your body. And then finally, it also acts um, as a blood clot uh, system where um, if you get injured, if any, um, if your blood so uh, is injured or um, damaged, it'll act to coagulate the blood and help repair whatever was injured. Okay. So firstly, we'll go over the heart. Um, heart is obviously a very important part of your body. It acts as a pump. So there's actually two different pumps um, that the heart acts as. Um, the left side acts as one pump and then the right side acts as a different pump. So there's actually two different pumps that work in um, unison in the heart. So the, the heart, it helps circulate the blood throughout the vasculature um, and it's made of strong cardiac muscle. Um, the cardiac muscle has intercalated discs uh, with many gap junctions to help the muscle cells communicate. So the gap junctions, they'll um, send action potentials and anything to um, regulate the action potentials throughout all the cardiac muscles. So then you get a uniform um, heartbeat. Yeah, and like I said before, the right and the left side have different pumps. So one side acts as the pulmonary circulation and then the other side acts for the systemic circulation. And so the heart, it has four different chambers, a ventricle and an atria on each side. Um, so I'll get into that more on the next slide. Um, so we'll get into that in the parts of the heart. So the heart has four different chambers. There's the atria, two atrias, and then two ventricles. So the atria are at the top. Um, there's one on each side. And they're thin walled, so they're not as muscular as the ventricles. They're thinner and all, they have a lot less muscle. So what they do is they receive the blood from either the vena cava on the right side or the pulmonary veins on the left side. And they, when they are filled with blood, they'll set, contract and send the blood into the ventricles for the ventricles to send the blood to either the rest of their body or to the lungs. Um, so what I, um, think is important is if you look at this picture, you see how, oops, sorry, um, you see how the right side, um, of the picture, it, it actually says left atrium and left ventricle. And then the left side of the picture, it says right atrium and right ventricle. So that's always the way that it will be labeled. So you have to no remember that the left side of the picture is actually the right side of the heart and the left side of the heart is actually on the right side of the screen. So always imagine that you're staring at someone else's heart. So even though the it may look like the left atrium and left ventricle are on the right side of the picture, it's actually the left side. So whenever you see a picture of a heart, just remember on the right side is actually the left ventricle and left atrium. If you while looking at the picture. And then if you look at the picture, the left side is actually the right atria and the right ventricle. Uh, and then the ventricles. So once the ventricles um, are filled by the atria, they'll contract to send the blood to the lungs for the pulmonary circulation or systemic circulation, which is the rest of your body. And like I said, they're more muscular than atria which makes sense because they have to send the blood much farther than the atria. 
So the HR just had to send it to the ventricle, but then the ventricles had to send it all the way to um, like your toes and your brain. So it's much farther than the atria. That's why they have a lot uh, more muscle. And so uh, what separates the atria and the ventricle are valves. So the atrioventricular valve, the AV valves, um, they separate the atria and the ventricles, which makes sense since atrioventricular is in the atria and ventricles are in the name. And on the right side, um, right atria and ventricle, it's separated by the tricuspid valve, and it's called the tricuspid valve because there's actually three leaflets, while the bicuspid, or another name for it, is the ventral valve. It's and it has two leaflets and it separates the left, left atria and left ventricle. And a good mnemonic to memorize that is lab rat. So left atria bicuspid and then right atria tricuspid. Um, I've also heard the, the saying, um, it's try before you buy. So tricuspid comes before bicuspid, which makes sense since the the blood travels through the, the right side of your heart before it goes to the left side. And then the semilunar valves, they separate the ventricles from the vasculature. So the pulmonary, on the pulmonary side, it separates the right ventricle from the pulmonary circulation. And then the aortic valve, it separates the left ventricle from the aorta. Um, any questions so far? 